Hello there, my name is Matt Gamble. I've got to get this filmed and edited quickly because this is the GTEC Eurogamer Special. So on the 2nd of October, myself and some friends of mine made our way to the Eurogamer Expo in London. Fortunately, we managed to get press passes, which got us access all areas, and we were there all day. It was absolutely brilliant. And here is my basic overview. The big advantage of Kinect is not being able to use any controller, it is completely hands free and actually the response time is rather quick. and Microsoft Connect is out on the 10th of November in the UK. Other highlights from the show include Gran Turismo 5 on PlayStation 3, Little Big Planet 2 was also one of my favourites, we spent quite a while playing on that. Fallout New Vegas was there which comes out towards the end of the month on PC, Xbox and PlayStation 3. We got a hands-on uh, Gears of War 3, which isn't out till late next year. And one of my favourites from the show is Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. We got to trial the multiplayer, which basically was a game of hide-and-seek. Players are set to hunt down a target whilst also being targeted by other players. I also managed to get to test out some of the 3D technology, especially on the PCs. Now impressively about this, NVIDIA were demonstrating their graphics cards. Now interestingly, if you have a recent NVIDIA graphics card, you'll be happy to know that it's very likely that you'll be able to run games in 3D. Three basic requirements are an NVIDIA graphics card, a 3D monitor and the 3D glasses. Now if you've got the NVIDIA graphics card, you're pretty much set. If you're not sure, there is a list below of all of the NVIDIA graphics cards that are supported by 3D. If you have that, all you're after now is a 120Hz monitor, which bundled with the NVIDIA glasses you can get for about £300. Link below for that one. What the 3D acceleration does is turn your desktop and adds stereoscopic filtering to it to make it 3D. So you don't need to invest in any special 3D games or 3D versions of the games you've already got. More details below on the 3D stuff, uh, I'm quite intrigued, I'll probably look into it more in Christmas and maybe feature it in another episode. If you're interested, make sure to head over to my page and check out my vlog on Eurogamer Expo, or check out my second channel for in-depth videos. There's one on Connect, Assassin's Creed and Gran Turismo. That's pretty much it from today's Eurogamer special. I'm left with a question. What would be the ideal thing to see in 3D? Leave comment or a video response answering the question or talking about anything we've spoken about this week. If you were a Eurogamer, let us know your thoughts and uh, let us know your thoughts on any of the games listed. Which one are you looking forward to the most? Other than that, that's all from me. See you again next week.